What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our What Players Wear on the Field series, and today's video is going to focus on Bill's superstar wide receiver, Stefan Diggs. So, there's a couple reasons that we chose to do Stefan Diggs for today's video. First of all, this guy has one of the most impressive cleat rotations in the game, and he just joined Jordan Brand this past summer. And second of all, you guys have been blowing up our comments with Do Stefan Diggs or Diggs Brothers. Thank you guys so much for commenting. And if there's anybody you guys want to see featured in the next video, comment them below right now and maybe you'll get featured in a video. In case you guys are new to the What Players Wear on the Field series, here's a little brief rundown of what we do in these videos. So we're going to take a player and we talk about their gear head to toe. So helmets, cleats, gloves, face masks, pads, you name it, we're going to talk about in this video and I'm going to try to give you guys as much information as possible about the product. So without further ado, we're going to kick things off. We're going to talk about Stefan Diggs football helmet. Like many other wide receivers in the NFL and other players that we've done these videos on, Stefan Diggs is wearing the Riddell Speedflex. Diggs first made the switch to the Speedflex his rookie year with the Vikings in 2015. Before that, at Maryland, he was wearing the Riddell Speed. We have talked about the Riddell Speedflex a lot. There's a lot of guys wearing it. It's the most common helmet in football across all levels of football. It is the perfect blend of modern styling and top of the line padding. It is a little bit tough to tell specific Speedflex models, but I'm pretty sure that Diggs is in the Riddell Speedflex Precision Fit Diamond. If you guys look really close at the cutout of the hex panel, you guys might be able to see that black lattice diamond padding, and that's what leads me to believe that it is a diamond precision fit. Also, in case you guys didn't know, the secret to the Speedflex's success is its ability to flex, hence the name Speedflex. It has that crown panel, that hex panel you guys see on the top there, and that flexes to absorb contact, and then the actual whole face mask and shell also flex to absorb contact, which prevents it from getting to your head and keeps you safe. So if you guys are interested in getting the speed flex, speed flexes are kind of tough to come by right now. The only place that we can really find them consistently is from Green Gridiron. They have them for $440. It will be linked in the description. So something for you guys to just kind of keep in the back of your head as you watch these videos. Every single product we talk about in this video will be linked below or we'll find the closest link to it. So you guys can literally just shop Stefan Diggs Locker right there in the description. Get what you need and swag out on game day. So next thing I'm going to talk about is Stefan Diggs face mask, which is a custom face mask. So I'm going to have to read off the exact code here is the cu dash SF-2BD-SW-HP, also known as the Odell Beckham Jr. face mask for the Speedflex. So like I said, that long list of letters is the official code, but most people just refer to it as the OBJ mask for the Speedflex. This face mask is pretty close to a standard face mask, but what makes it different is those jagged eye bars. Usually they're straight down, but on these it is jagged, which kind of gives you a little bit more vision and it looks really cool. So if you guys do want to get this custom OBJ style Speedflex face mask. They are $300 from Green Gridiron, but last I checked, they had them on sale for $285, so save $15 bucks there. It will be linked below. Okay, so now continuing through Diggs' helmet setup, we're going to talk about his clear Oakley visor. So on Stefan Diggs' Speedflex, he does use a clear Oakley visor with Oakley's unbranded quick-release clips. Since Oakley and the NFL inked a deal in 2019, we've seen a lot of players wearing Oakley visors in the NFL. Also, for all you guys out there wondering why these guys wear visors, first off, it looks cool. Um, it protects your eyes from the sun and it keeps fingers and other various debris out of your eyes. I think that Diggs visor is the brand new Oakley Pro visor, which is built to fit the Speedflex perfectly. You guys can kind of see that the bottom of the visor is super flush with his custom face mask. If you guys want to buy the Oakley Clear Pro visor, they are $70 on Green Gridiron's website. And again, it's linked below. Now let's talk about another visor that Diggs has kind of worn a couple times throughout the season. And that is going to be the Oakley Blue Sapphire visor. So usually in practice and pregame, Diggs adds a little bit of color to his helmet, and that is going to be this beautiful Oakley Blue Sapphire visor. Obviously, it's blue. It flows really well with the Bills uniforms and looks great. The tint is going to allow him to help block out some of that sun, focus on the football, and like I said, it looks absolutely incredible. As you guys may know, colored visors are not allowed come game time, so that's why Diggs only wears it for pregame and practice. So if you guys are interested in getting the Oakley Blue Sapphire visor, it's going to be $90 from Green Good Iron. Again, it's linked in the description for you guys. So now let's talk about Stefan Diggs' chin strap. He wears the Sports Star Victory T. Rex Hurricane chin strap. So Diggs is one of the many players in the NFL to wear sports star chin straps. Sports star chin straps are the best in the game. They're super comfortable, they're super protective, and they are proven to absorb more contact than your regular chin strap. These chin straps are a relatively affordable way to upgrade your helmet setup, and it's going to keep you a little bit safer. So if you guys are interested, they're $35 on Sports Star's website. So next thing we're going to talk about is Stefan Diggs VEDEX lip guard mouth guard. So for pretty much Diggs' entire career, he has worn a VEDEX mouth guard. Back with the Vikings, he wore it in this like super bright yellow one. I'll try to put up a picture if I remember. Uh, but now with the Bills, he usually just wears a white one, but he's also worn them in gray, red, blue to match the Bills uniforms. VEDEX mouth guards are super common throughout all levels of football. 
they're pretty cheap they come in a lot of colors and they look really good so if you guys do want to get one we do have one link below i think they're like less than 10 bucks on amazon so check them out all right as we continue to make our way down now we're going to talk about stefan diggs shoulder pads stefan diggs is wearing the russell carbon tech shoulder pads diggs is one of the few people in the nfl wearing these shoulder pads these are probably the lightest pads on the market these shoulder pads are actually two pieces they have a compression padded vest that you guys can wear for um, walkthroughs pregame something non-contact related and then they have a carbon fiber shell that goes over that and then you're ready for contact games whatever super lightweight super sleek huge part in digs setup carbon fiber is obviously notoriously one of the most lightweight strong materials on the planet and that is what that outer shell is made of um, the shoulder pads themselves allow for tons of range of motion which is super important for a wide receiver like Diggs who has to go up catch the football make some moves, find the end zone. So Russell Carbon Tech shoulder pads are no longer created and produced, but a new company has picked them up, used the same technology and come back with them. So the brand of these is going to be called two in one shoulder pads, which refers to the two pieces that make one shoulder pad and it is the exact same pair of shoulder pads, just different branding. And it kind of looks a little bit different, but it's the same thing. If you guys do want to check these out for yourself and learn a little bit about the technology and everything that goes into these shoulder pads, you guys can go to two in one shoulder pads.com. You have to spell out every bit. We're going to link it below, of course. Um, but they're $750. Um, that makes them one of the most expensive shoulder pads on the market, if not the most expensive. But obviously, that is nothing to a guy like Stefan Diggs, who's making millions and millions of dollars a year. All right, guys, next thing we're going to talk about is a small accessory, but an important one. And that's going to be Stefan Diggs McDavid padded arm sleeve. So for most of Diggs' career, he's been wearing some sort of arm sleeve on his left arm. Most recently, it is going to be an all-white McDavid padded arm sleeve. It looks really good. He almost always wears it in white, which looks really clean with the Bills' white helmets, white face mask super clean look i assume that Diggs wears it for the swag factor but maybe he's just trying to prevent some turf burn on that left arm and also protect his elbow from those bumps and bruises if you guys are interested in owning a mcdavid padded arm sleeve they are 25 dollars on east bay's website we will have an affiliate link in the description so anything you guys buy using that link helps us out so thank you guys so much all right guys now it's time to get into some of the more fun stuff so this is stefan Diggs, one of the best wide receivers in the nfl so obviously he has to be rocking a good pair of gloves stefan Diggs has been wearing the jordan Vaporjet 6.0. In case you guys missed this, Stefan Diggs became an official Jordan brand athlete this past summer, and this season he has pulled out tons of really cool player exclusive football Jordan gloves. So he's worn a couple different colorways this season. He's worn white and red, blue and white, um, some pretty basic colorways for the Bills, but he also pulled out a black version in pregame, which didn't really flow with the all red uniforms the bills were wearing but either way these are really cool gloves also just a little fun fact that i picked up a little bit ago is that stefan diggs jordan logo on the back of his hand is actually bigger than most other jordan athletes logos on their gloves because diggs has such big hands so they made it a little bit bigger it's a very minor detail that most 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to notice but I picked it up, so I thought it was cool. Something that's important to note about the Jordan VaporJet 6 is that it is the exact same football glove as the Nike VaporJet 6.0. The only difference is the logo on the back. So it's it's that's the only difference between these two gloves. So they are they are identical performance-wise. Um, they're both really good options. So just a little bit of background info on the VaporJet 6. This is the latest glove from Nike in their VaporJet line. It fits so well and has some of the best grip on the market. Their Magna Grip palms are super duper sticky and it's no wonder that Diggs makes all the awesome catches that he makes if you guys are interested you guys should check out our top five skill glove video and you guys can kind of see how the nike vapor jet 6.0 stacks up against some of your other favorite receiver gloves so if you guys were looking to get the jordan vapor jet 6.0 unfortunately you're out of luck um the jordan vapor jet the jordan branded vapor jet is not available to the public so you guys can't get it unless you find some like weird reseller on ebay which is possible who knows um but you guys can get the nike vapor jet 6.0 which is the exact same glove different branding like i mentioned before for 45 dollars so east bay link will be below check it out all right guys as we continue to make our way down let's talk about stefan diggs leg pads or lack thereof so now this is the part where i tell you guys a little bit about stefan diggs leg pads but he doesn't seem to be wearing any so i don't know how he's gotten away with this for most of the season but most games this season he has had no leg pads in his pants, which is illegal. So like, I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know whether he's getting fined or the NFL just hasn't noticed. Um, but if anybody from the NFL or any of the NFL referees are watching this video, um, please don't tell Diggs that I, that I, uh, that I snitched on him, please. Um, I'm just trying to do my, my job and cover his equipment best I can. So, so now we've made it all the way down to the cleats. Let's talk about Stefan Diggs nike vapor edge 360 speeds despite signing with jordan this past off season when it comes to game time stefan diggs is in the nike vapor edge 360 speed diggs has tried to wear jordan brand cleats but they are simply too heavy for him he does wear some in pregame that i'm going to talk about in a little bit but come game time he's in these let's give you guys a little bit of info about the 360 speed before we get into all this crazy custom colorways 
Um, this is the 360 speed. Um, this is the lowest tier option in the Nike Vapor line, which does not mean it's a bad cleat. It's a low cut cleat, super lightweight, and has one of the best traction plates on the market. So the edge plate is a two piece traction plate with these edge studs on the outermost parts of your foot. These studs allow you to get your foot in the ground and get in and out of cuts really quickly. Um, these are perfect for digs. He runs all those incredible routes that are impossible to defend. Okay, now that we've talked about the specs of the cleat, let's talk about all of the insane custom colorways that Diggs has worn this season. And just a forewarning, there's a lot of them. So Diggs cleats are often inspired by a couple different things, mostly his favorite TV shows, favorite movies, and some of his favorite musical artists. Also, all of these cleats are custom painted by Mosh at Mosh275 on Instagram. Go show him some love if you guys aren't already. All right, let's get into the cleats. So the first pair he's worn is the Wire Customs, which are dedicated to the late Michael K. Williams, who was a star on that show. He wore Squid Game cleats, which were inspired by the very popular Netflix original Squid Game. He wore these Pyrex Picasso Customs. These were super bright, inspired by a album from a local Buffalo artist. He wore these all red Spider-Man ones. These were sick. He wore these cleats inspired by Young Thug's punk album. He wore these saw themed cleats for Halloween weekend. He wore some inspired by the KD4 Galaxy, one of the most iconic Nike basketball shoes of all time. He wore these wheat tims for a game in New York against the Jets. Well, technically New Jersey, but you get the, you get the idea. For my cause, my cleats, he wore these Call of Duty endowment cleats, which were dedicated to US veteran Cameron mob so i might be missing some but i try to show you guys as many as i can he's worn a lot of crazy colorways for pregame but come game time he's usually in some regular bills themed gradient pairs so red white gray blue um all these are also custom painted by mosh really cool to see on game day super simple looks nice so let's talk about another pair of cleats that he's worn a couple times this season that's going to be the jordan one low so like i mentioned earlier Diggs has worn a couple pairs of the jordan one low but they're just too heavy for him to wear in game something that's special about Diggs jordan ones is that they are pe's he did sign with the brand this past summer as i've mentioned a couple times already but his cleats are different from any that the public's gonna get he gets the exclusive nike vapor edge plate on the Jordan silhouette, which is something us normal people can't get. So when the general public gets a Jordan cleat, we get this super outdated TD propulsion plate. Um, so right now, leave a comment if you guys want to see Jordan silhouettes, get the updated Nike traction plates, and maybe Nike will take notice and give it to us. But as far as custom colorways go, Diggs has worn a couple cool pairs. My favorite is this Jordan 1 Union Los Angeles pair. Looks just like the actual sneaker. Really cool. And then he also wore a pair inspired by Dave White's sneaker art. Like I said earlier, unfortunately, we can't get our hands on these amazing Jordan PEs that Diggs is wearing. But we can get these on GOAT, StockX. Um, just your regular one with that old TD plate. Um, we're going to link those below for you guys, so check it out. All right, now on to the final cleat that Diggs has worn, and that's going to be the Jordan 5, kind of. Let me explain. So Diggs Jordan 5 is a little bit different from the ones that we've seen from other Jordan athletes, such as Devontae Adams and Devin White. Instead of the OG bulky Jordan silhouette, Diggs has what I like to call a slimmed down version. So it's basically a Nike Vapor Edge 360 speed with panels kind of custom designed to look like a Jordan 5, but be a lot lighter so yeah essentially it's a nike vapor edge 360 speed designed to look like a jordan 5 early in training camp when he was testing out the different jordan silhouettes he wore them in all white and then more recently he wore a bad boys custom they looked really cool so he doesn't wear these cleats very often but they're a really cool cleat nonetheless so i figured i'd put them in the video um unfortunately jordan slash nike has not given us any jordan 5 cleat options so you guys if you guys want to have that jumpman on your cleats you're gonna have to get the 10s 11s or the ones all right guys so there you have it there's a full equipment breakdown on stefan Diggs. he has some of the most impressive gear in the nfl and probably the best cleat rotation of anybody we've covered in this series so we do have a little bit of a surprise for you guys you guys wanted both Diggs brothers so badly and we are delivering we're doing a double drop so this one dropped first and then the trayvon Diggs video will drop right after this one so by the time you guys finish watching this one the trayvon video should be live as well so go check that one out if you guys haven't already um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go watch the next one. If you guys did enjoy, consider hitting like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thanks again for watching another episode of Footballers.